almost half a century ago, I had the great privilege of taking part in an expedition. It was to the greater Himalayas, and we were to climb and explore in the Karakoram region. It's difficult to imagine those far off days now, before global positioning, mobiles, satellite phones, helicopter rescues. We were one of the last old style expeditions. Risk was ever present with avalanches, crevasses, rockfalls, frostbite. But our team did return safely. We brought back with us some rock samples, a rough map and some anthropological data. But above this, we brought back some indelible memories and very hard won images. A few of these I'd like to share with you now. So come with me and we'll go, as Shackleton so eloquently put it, to see God in all his splendours and hear the text that nature renders. There is a region of heart's desire, free for the hand that wills. Land of the shadow and haunted spire, land of the silvery glacier fire, land of the cloud and the starry choir, magical land of hills. Loud with the crying of winds and streams, thronged with the fancies and fears of dreams. There are perils of nightly zest, fit for the warrior's craft. Pitiless giants with rock-bound crest, mystical wells for the midnight rest. Ice-crowned castles and halls to test steel with the ashen shaft. Realms to be won by the well-swung blow, 
rest to be earned from the yielding foe. Frosted cities of timeless sleep wait for the errant night. Kingly forest and frowning steep, spirits of mist and of fathomless deep, snow-winged dragons of fear that keep watch o'er each virgin height. Treasure of dawn and a crown of stars, his who can shatter the frozen bars. All that the wanderer's heart can crave, life lived thrice for its lending. Hermit's vigil in dreamlit cave, gleams of the vision that Merlin gave, comrades till death and a windswept grave. Joy of the journey's ending. Ye who have climbed to the great white veil, heard ye the chant, saw ye the grail?